Hi, I'm Ethan and this is your monthly oracle and tarot card reading for August 2023. And this reading is for spiritual guidance, personal growth and to help you become the best version of yourself. And this is a general reading but do stick around towards the end and I will also do a pick a card reading which will give you a more personal message and a crystal to work with throughout the month. First, I'm working with the Light Seers Tarot today. I love how vibrant this deck is, and it's very uplifting. Now, for this reading, I'll only be working with the Major Arcana today, and this is because I'm using the Majors to tune into the theme, the major theme of the month, and discover where your power lies. The card of the month is the lovers. So this could be a traditional meaning, which is associated with relationships, love and romance. So it's definitely something that if you're on the lookout, if you are single, this could be a good month to meet someone who is important. You may find that if you've been having difficulties in relationships, this could be the month that you patch things up. You may get back together with someone, or you might find someone new. It's also good for partnerships of all kinds. So that could be work-related, business. If you're thinking about collaborating with someone on something, this could be a good month to propose that. It would definitely help with projects to work with other people and just see what, you know, the combination of your work with someone else bring. They can relate to Twin Flame energy, particularly with the way it's depicted here in the Light Seer's Tarot. If that's something that interests you, i definitely explore it or look out for anything and make connections and see where those lead you. But I would also say this card is very much about following your heart. So if it's not relationships for you, then the guidance for this month is to, you know, really follow your heart. And that means also going for what you feel passionate about. And if you've got any decisions to make or you're not sure what to do with your life or you're thinking about different options, you'll have to sort of tune in and see what makes you feel good, what makes you you know, it, does it bring you joy to do it? Or is it something you're just doing because you think you should do it? Or perhaps you think, oh, I'll do that because people are saying this is a good way to make money. Or I'm doing something because other people online are doing something. Definitely advises against that type of thinking and going with what you're passionate about, doing what lights you up. So creative projects, that type of thing. You know, by doing something like that and putting your heart into something, it will come across and... If you're creating products for other people, then they're more likely to be interested because they can see it's something that you're passionate about. And that tends to come across, especially if you're trying to sort of promote something online or sell something or you're offering a service. You know, you, you have to be into it to for it to be a long lasting thing. You know, you can do smaller things to make money in the short term. But if you're looking for something fulfilling, I would definitely make sure your heart is in it. Otherwise, you'll probably find that you don't stick at it or it's hard to, it doesn't come together because people can sense that you're not really feeling it, you're not really into it. So that's definitely something you want to look at. And, you know, when it comes to following our passions, following our heart, we, we, it's also about commitment. So if there's something you are trying to do in your life, you know, how committed are you to that? How committed are you to your goals? Is there something you're trying to manifest? Again, you need to really be feeling it because if you're not feeling it, it's probably going to be a lot harder to make it happen or to manifest it. So you've been asked to align with what you're passionate about, what is already natural to you that you feel attracted to and you want to create. You know, when you think of the thing you want to manifest, does it actually make you feel good or does it just feel like there's something you're taking off a box? That's something I'd ask yourself. So when it comes to manifesting things, make sure that it's something that actually is going to make you feel good and raise your vibration. Because if it doesn't, it's so much harder. I'm not saying you can't do it or you can't manifest something, but it's going to be a lot easier if you're doing something that you're actually passionate about. You're going to find it easier to channel the energy into making things happen in your goals. And you're going to be able to manifest because you're generating much more energy around the thing you're trying to manifest. So that is the guidance for your tarot card of the major theme of this month. And of course, I have a link to this and other decks I'm using in this reading. 
If you're interested, check that out. This is an affiliate link. So if you do decide to you buy through that link, you will be supporting me and my channel. Thank you so much. And just before we get into your Oracle card reading, if you have enjoyed this reading so far, then please give it a thumbs up. And this helps others find this reading so they can benefit too. And please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a reading from me. And now on to your Oracle card reading, and I'm working with the Female Archangels Oracle. And I really love this Oracle. I think it's a unique take. Even though the name says female, it actually has a good balance of male and female archangels and spiritual messages. So we're going to be doing an angel card reading this, this month. Okay, so your first card... We have the Archangel Radiant. This card is all about what well, the message on it says, raise your standards. And this card is all about self-acceptance and, you know, shining your light. So you're being asked to, you know, maybe you need to become a little more visible in your life. You might need to become more visible either socially or professionally. Definitely it's not the time to sort of shy away from being seen or to be too concerned about what people think or what people are going to say. And I know in this day and age of, you know, social media, there's still a lot of people who, who don't really sort of actively use it themselves. They use it to look at other people, but they don't put themselves out there. And definitely if it's something you're considering doing, you might need to consider putting yourself out there more. And... To shine your light, you really have to accept and like who you are and love yourself as you are. And I'm not saying that's easy, but you're, you know, try and get a bit closer and more comfortable with being seen because, you know, not everyone will like you or your message. And we sometimes just have to kind of just prepare ourselves and understand that, you know, we're not for everyone. Not everyone will like you. And, you know, if you look at this angel, she doesn't care. She's confident in herself. She's shining. So the Angel of Radiance is all about, you know, putting your energy out there, sharing your abilities, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom. If you have something that you're keeping away from the world, a product, a service, something you're working on, it's definitely, you need to start putting, you know, plans into motion to bring it to light. And the message of this card is not to dim your light, to fit in. So if you are feeling even amongst friends or your family that you're not really yourself, you're being asked to kind of, you know, come out of your shell more. If you look, there's actually a moon in the background. And this month we have two full moons. So there's the moon on the 1st, if you're watching this on the 1st of August. There's also one at the end, which is a blue moon. And that's definitely a time I think you could consider doing some self-healing doing some cleansing, doing some personal development work, some meditation work on your personal energy and identity to put out there so that people can, you know, connect with you and see you and, you know, you're not meant to hide away and, you know, stand in your power. And the actual message of the card in the book is talking about, you know, being the king or queen that you are. So that is a message for you this month. Okay, so for card number two, we have... The new earth. And it says share your gifts. Follows on from our last card, doesn't it? So use your talents and abilities. A lot of you have learned things in this life, maybe in other lives, and you need to start actively using them more. You need to trust and know that your not your knowledge, your perspective is important. And actually putting yourself out there and doing the work offering things to help people, doing work at home that you know will better the planet, better the world. It could be anything. It could be, you know, energy work. It could be something that you're being called to do. You're probably already aware of it. These are often soul gifts. You know, we all come here with unique talents and abilities and things we're meant to contribute amongst everyone else. It's not that we're better than anyone. Everyone comes here with a mission. Everyone comes here with things to support the collective once they're ready so you're definitely being asked to stand up and to put your abilities into practice to trust 
these things to maybe you, you some of you will be drawn to spiritual communities these could be online it could be a local community this could be something very mundane it doesn't have to be spiritual and you know some of you are trailblazers some of you are here to bring a different perspective or message to the world and to bring something into the physical world which you came here to do a task a mission could be something you're creating making or doing and it's probably time this month with the lion's gate i think you should really at least take steps towards bringing this out if you've been thinking about something or don't feel ready your guides your angels are telling you you are ready you are important you are someone he, who's meant to bring things to the world and to help others so you know tap into your soul gifts your talents your abilities things that you're naturally interested in and excited by and use them because you know we can learn as much as we want we can read online we can listen to videos but at the end of the day you have to be using what you're learning for it to actually make a difference and you're definitely being asked to do something to make a difference to the world and the last of these three cards we have Archangel Victory I'll just show you that and the message is raise your vibration so again all three cards kind of work hand in hand the first card was talking about the Archangel of Radiance and you know being seen and I do think that is this kind of affirms and confirms that message even more and this card is about you know not letting the outside circumstances in your life affect you or drag you down you know there's a lot of negative stuff and quite challenging things happening in the world at the moment the news the media tends to kind of over exaggerate things or dramatize them in a way that can it's quite depressing for people so limit that if it is affecting you negatively harming your energy also, if you're around people that tend to bring you down, people that always have a negative viewpoint, they're always trying to make you feel that you shouldn't change, or that what you think or believe or are doing is not of importance, you're being asked to ignore that right now, and to stop letting outside circumstances, perhaps you're trying to manifest and you're not seeing any signs yet, the key is to just keep going. These are like tests, I tend to think, particularly when you don't see it, or things appear to may even seem to be getting worse. As soon as you give in, then that's going to be the result. But if you keep going, I think you'll see the change you want eventually. You're being asked to rise up against challenges, to not sink to the level of them. So when things come up, you, your challenge is to stop letting it get to you, to be in control. You can control your emotional state and your energy. You can't always control what's going on around you. So just remember, you can turn and flip the energy at any point. You have the power to actually change from a, a downward spiral to an upward spiral of energy. So do that. As things come up, if any challenges are going on right now in your life, if you're finding situations, people, work to be dampening your energy, then we need to turn it around. And so you do what you need to do to raise your vibration in that can be so many things you know spending time alone maybe for you if you're an empath you'll probably want to do that going outside going into nature taking a break if you can from work getting a good night's sleep not watching things on tv that make you feel depressed watching things that uplift you doing things that uplift you that make you feel happy that's what you're being asked to do because if your vibration is higher you're easy it's easier for you to manifest, it's easier for you to reach your goals and stop giving in to procrastination, which we've been looking at in this reading already. Your angels want you to kind of take more action or do some things that you haven't done yet, take some more steps, put yourself out there. See, if we look at it all together, you know it's committing to yourself, commi committing to your life's mission, committing to your purpose, to not let, you know, the darkness of the world take you over or to drag you down. It's about, you know, shining a light, being seen, and very much, you know, letting the world know that you're here and you have something to contribute, to do, to assist, and to help others. So for this part of the reading, we'll be giving you a personal message and a crystal to support you through the month. And I'm using my own handmade crystal oracle cards here. 
Now I won't be showing you the artwork on them that I have just hand drawn, but I will be giving you the message and the crystal that you need for your month ahead. So these are your cards, so just take a moment to tune in and allow your intuition to guide you to the card which contains the message that you need to hear most for this month and at this time, and the crystal. So we've got card one, card two, and card three. And once you have chosen your card, you can jump to the video chapters to jump straight to your message. And if you need a little while longer, you can pause this video. If you picked card one, then your crystal is Black Tourmalin. And your message for this month is to maintain your boundaries. And you're being asked to set clearer emotional, personal and energetic boundaries with others. And you need to watch out for manipulative people, people that are just trying to influence you or to get you to do what they want and not really thinking about you. You must stand strong against those people and you're being asked to use some form of psychic protection so that you're not influenced by people projecting their energy onto you because we don't need that and it's not helpful to you to take on other people's stuff anyway and certainly if they're trying to like manipulate you or to in any way try and make you do what they want you don't want that to happen and you know a crystal like this can be helpful so black tourmaline is really good for empaths or people who are just generally sensitive to energies and it helps strengthen your aura so that's a really good quality of this stone and it's also really good for boundary setting and if you just look at it it's so strong looking and it's like a pillar so it's great for setting boundaries in your life and if you don't have this stone or you're looking for an alternative then I would recommend hematite, red jasper or healer's gold that one's a little harder to find but I know some people prefer it and of course I hope this message and this reading was helpful to you and if you did find it helpful please like this video subscribe if you're not already I have included links below to the decks I've used and to my books do check those out and have a great month if you picked card two then your crystal is blue lace agate and your message for the month is to share your message so that may mean different things to you but it's very important that you understand your perspective your way of viewing things your opinion does matter and in certain situations what you have to say is important and should be heard so definitely speak up amongst people that especially if anyone's intimidating you or it could be at work it could be in your personal life relationships make sure you communicate with people with your views and let them know if there's something you think they should know then do share that with them speak up and you know understand that yes your wisdom your knowledge and perspective and opinion isn't for everyone and that's okay but you are here to have a unique message and a viewpoint some of you may be having to get your message out into the world through speaking social media teaching something like that you know your own way of doing something is important and someone out there will resonate with it so the reason we have this crystal which is blue lace agate is that it helps you communicate more clearly and this helps clear and open your throat chakra and another benefit of a stone is it's also very calming so it puts you in a calm state and that usually helps you deliver the message better because you know no one wants anyone forcing their opinions down people's throats or shouting then the other person or people don't really listen so that's why this stone is so good but if you don't have it or you want an alternative I would recommend you blue calcite, turquoise, or blue chalcedony. And hopefully this message and this reading has been helpful. Please give it a like if it has been, and do check out the links in the description to the decks and to my books. 
and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and have a great month. If you picked card free, then your crystal is Blue Appetite. And your message for this month is to hold positive expectations. And so you're being asked to recognize that your thoughts are very powerful, and so are your words. So make sure that you're using them in a constructive way. Pay attention to any negative self-talk. And try and like turn things around if you find that you are doing that. Because it is not helpful. And in fact, you know, a glass half full mentality is so much more powerful for you, especially at this time. So do your best to think positively about tasks you're doing, situations in your life, your goals anything you're manifesting, just hold that positive vibration and intention and it will help increase your chances of being successful. And use positive self-talk where possible to kind of talk yourself out of, you know, if you find yourself slipping into a downward spiral of energy or you're not thinking very positive, then, you know, try and flip the script. And the reason this stone is going to be helpful to you Blue Appetite is because it helps you overcome limiting beliefs. Because if a lot of our limits and our problems come from inside, and then they reflect outwards through our actions, through the way we manifest things, we tend to attract what we feel about ourselves. So changing limiting beliefs is very powerful and helps you adopt more positive thought patterns. So if that's something you struggle with or you find this month you are dealing with that, this stone might help you. And it also empowers affirmations and visualizations. So um, it's a very good stone to work with if you're manifesting or you're working on changing your mindset around things. And if you can't get Blue Appetite or you're looking for an alternative, then you could use Tiger's Eye, Sunstone or Golden Healer Quartz. And hopefully this crystal message and this reading is helpful to you. And a like if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're not already. And do check out the links in the description for the decks I've used. And check out my books as well. And have a great month.